Welcome back to Bazai. Today's breakdown, why Grab chose counter service for a go-to Rust rewrite, how they approach the migration, the libraries they pick, the hard parts, borrow checker and async, and what actually change in performance. What is counter service? Counter service is the backbone for fraud detection and ML features. It ingests event streams, keeps rolling counts, and serves those counts to other systems over gRPC. Think, how many times did this event happen for this user? At very high scale. The ingestion side continuously aggregates and persists into Scylla, while the serving side exposes fast gRPC endpoints and may fetch from Scylla, plus caches or secondary stores like Redis, MySQL, or DynamoDB. The logic is simple count store return, but the traffic is massive, with bursts into tens of thousands of requests per second. That combination, simple behavior, huge volume, made it ideal for a rust rewrite, lower risk of logic regressions, and a big payoff on efficiency. Rewrite strategy, no line-by-line -line port. Instead, treat the old service as a black box and match behavior via the public gRPC contracts. Send the same requests to both versions, responses must match. Rebuild internals in idiomatic Rust, free from Go-style assumptions. This contract-first approach reduces hidden coupling and lets the team leverage Rust's strengths, memory safety, zero-cost abstractions, without dragging legacy patterns forward. Key libraries and choices. GRPC. Tonic for well-supported async-first stubs. Web slash API. Actix web for speed and ecosystem maturity. Telemetry. Open telemetry Rust for traces slash metrics. Cadence for stats decompatible metrics. Redis. Switch from Redis RS to Fred for proper async behavior under load. Scylla. Scylla Rust driver. Officially maintained and production oriented. Kafka. Kafka Rust to handle streaming needs. Selection criteria emphasize maturity, async support, maintenance, and community backing. Official backing trumps star counts when relevant. Internal ecosystem gaps. Most internal tooling existed only in Go, especially the configuration system using Go templates and secret wrappers. The team rebuilt this in Rust using NOM to parse and render templates, handling environment overlays, and secure secret injection. NOM's learning curve was steep, but it delivered a fast, robust parser that fit the new stack. Technical challenges. Borrow checker and lifetimes. Early on, pragmatic cloning and arc wrapping kept momentum while correctness stayed intact. Profiling later identified hotspots for dedup or refactoring. Async concurrency. Goes Garoutine's hide scheduling. Rust's async slash await is explicit and cooperative. Missteps, like using a blocking Redis call in async code, hurt throughput until swapped for fully non-blocking clients. Why this matters. Counter services job is simple but relentless. If this was useful, like and subscribe to Bazai and drop a comment.